Uh, you chose to turn pro over going to college. Obviously, it worked out well for you, but mm -hmm. was it a tough decision? Very tough decision. Uh, I think it was just a, a, a bunch of things that happened uh, when I was younger. You know, I did homeschooling from sixth grade through high school. I never went to school. I didn't know how to balance golf on top of schoolwork, on top of um, practicing, on, on studying, and all that stuff. So uh, for me personally, you know, turning pro was the right decision um, just because I really didn't know how I was going to handle going to college. But um, you know, I always tell young girls, you know, go to college, get the experience, learn how to travel. I mean, the traveling was so hard the first couple of years. Um, junior golf, I mean, we, we only played, you know, tournaments on the East Coast, whatever we could drive to. So we didn't really play that many events. So um, to then turn pro and then travel 30 weeks a year and flying to different countries. And I mean, that was a that was a shock. That was a big change. So it was for me personally, turning pro was the, the right decision. Knock on wood. But, um, you know, I always tell young girls to go to school. For someone who's homeschooled, mm -hmm. I don't want to say sheltered, but but you know, obviously your world was much smaller mm -hmm. than it became very quickly. Mm -hmm. What was that adjustment like? Sheltered is a good word. <laughs> uh, I was very sheltered. Um, obviously, my friends were just the the kids at the golf course, and which was totally fine. You know, I I really enjoy that. I love playing golf, and I love being at the golf course, so it was fine. Um, but you're right. It, it's uh, I went from my own little tiny world, tiny bubble of not knowing. I knew kind of what the East Coast looked like within the traveling to California and, and out of the country, um, getting a passport. I mean, all that good stuff. It was uh, it was a complete shock. It was uh, it was something that I hadn't been used to. And junior golf was only three months out of the year, and then now you're doing it, you know, 365 days out of the year. So I mean, it was it was pretty crazy. Scary. It was a little scary. Luckily, I have a, a great family background, and uh, either mom or dad, dad. My dad caddied for me my first year and a half, or mom would come out as well and. Uh, it was kind of like a family thing, and it was great having them there. I would never have been able to do it without them, and um, you know that that meant a lot having them there with me. Obviously, I, I was a little bit calmer having family and somebody I recognized around me. Um, but obviously, you know, when you go to tournaments, you know, I had, didn't know anybody. Paula Kramer turned pro, and I did as well, so I knew her. But other than that, I mean, it was you looked down the driving range, and you didn't know one person. It wasn't like junior golf anymore when you knew everybody. Um, so I mean, it was it was a big shock.